Right, so we're playing Revelations, but every single round something's gonna change. When a player slides, a random zombie dies. Wait, what the f <laughs> Wait, does it give me points? Wait, it doesn't. No! So, I'm assuming I slide here. Yep, that one just- <laughs> That's so stupid, bro. Yep, that one just died as well. Well, I mean, if that actually gave me points, that would be a kind of decent one. I just slid by accident. Okay, the round's over. When a player earns 100 plus points, player's gun gets a random camo. <gasps> Does that work on uh, on the MR6? No? Damn it. I mean, I just... Oh, no, these are 10 points, aren't they? I'm dead! It's fine. Nothing happens at all right there. No, nothing at all. When a gumball is eaten, player's speed is randomized. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and get one then. What is this? Stock option? Even though... Wait, what? I don't even have stock option on. What the fuck? Maybe it's part of the mod. It just doesn't let you have gobble gums, but... Okay, we seem to be running like... I don't even know if we're faster, actually. I think we are a little bit, so... Hey, I'll take it, dude. Now, we have effects stacking on, so obviously, like, every single round, this is gonna, like, continue, so no matter what, if we eat more gobblegums, it'll change the speed that we're at, or whatever. Also, I did notice that the zombies don't have purple eyes in this, which is interesting, because in all the other cause and effect videos, they have. But yeah. All right, now let's not go down to the stupid furies again. Yeah, it's just, when you go to melee them, they still, like, hit you sometimes. It's very strange. Ow, like, see? Alright, there we go. <laughs> actually managed to do it this time, Jesus. Well, I think the best move is probably buying Quick Revive as soon as possible, so uh, last attempt doesn't happen again. Box is this way. When a power-up spawns, random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay, so that's gonna happen forever, which is cool. Oh, we have a shield part here, but it doesn't really matter because if you didn't know, you can't build shields on this game mode. It literally just doesn't let you. Well, it does technically let you, but it doesn't let you, like, actually pull it out or anything or have one on your back. So it's basically useless. Surely this will go better. Oh, we got a max ammo and it triggered a blast furnace. That's cool. I was going to say, surely this will go better than Shangri-La. We'll see, dude. Let's go ahead and spin this box real quick. Who knows? Maybe we'll get the Apothecan Servant first attempt. No, but we got the DG4. Wait, isn't that what we got on uh, Shangri-La? We got the specialist weapon, like, immediately. That's just typical, bro. I mean, like, I'm not complaining necessarily, but I kind of wanted a point weapon. Where's this last zombie at? Oh, you're up here. Hello. Okay, we're gonna afford one more. When a gumball is eaten, player's AAT is removed. Okay, so I guess we'll just stick with this gobble gum then for now. We're not gonna hit it again because I don't really want to lose that, but anyway. M1927. I do love the Tommy gun, to be honest. Very freaking cool weapon, and it's also, like, pretty perfect for points. Like, I'm so glad they brought it back in Revelations because, you know, it was in Mall of the Dead, and that was pretty much the only map it was in, wasn't it? Oh, Deadwire. What the- <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, because we got a death machine. Oh, and it's a blast furnace. What the fuck? Right, let's do one more spin and we'll just save up points to buy doors, I guess. We got little Arnie's. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, our box luck has actually been pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a double points down here. I didn't even see that. No wonder there was another AAT triggering. Shame the round is literally over. When a player takes damage, the orientation slightly changed. Okay, so like... Orientation is when you're aiming, like it will nudge to the side, nudge to the left, up, down, whatever. Damn, this Tommy gun has a lot of ammo. Which is uh, extremely good, because we're definitely going to need it. Oh, hello. Fucking. I kind of want to save up for Jug, which is in the middle area, but you know. It's nice that we haven't had anything crazy broken just yet, so like, you know, we're easing into it a little bit. Oh, hi. Right, you have the last one. Boom, easy peasy. When a zombie dies, give it random papped gun. Oh, no, just as I say that, bro. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Just... <laughs> Oh boy. Every single time I kill a zombie, it's going to give me a paptagon. And traditionally, I've got to pick up the owl's hat, of course. All right, time for the corruption engine. I mean, do we just say fuck it? Let's put down the Ragnaroks. Surely this won't break my game. Oh yeah, it gave me a ray gun. Wait, what the fuck? I want to keep that. <laughs> the Bahamu, the Argus, the BRM. What is going on, dude? This is so broken. Oh, the Apothecan Servant. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. Fuck, it actually swapped it out. That's so sad. Oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, the Dracon's back. Okay. Now I've got the BMP. Oh my god, now I've got the Banshee. The oh, the Tommy Gun's back. I must have killed so many because Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's because I'm killing them now. I'm so dumb. So we're just going to have a constant gun game going on, basically. I mean, what is the point in trying to keep one of the weapons because no matter what, it's going to swap out? So yeah, I guess we just say fuck it. That's quite hilarious, though. When a grenade is thrown, an earthquake occurs. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, classic. Oh, we got the Lilani. Lilani? No, the fucking parasite round. Jesus, I can speak. Now, I'm assuming if I kill with this... Oh, it does. It gets rid of it. Tragic. 
Oh, but I can't hip fire for shit with this weapon. What do I keep getting the SVG, bro? Oh, there we go. The Apothecary Servant. At least it counts as a papped weapon, I suppose. All right, and then we finish with the 48 Dredge. Oh, let's go. When a door is purchased, a random zombie dies. Okay. It's like that sliding one we had on the first game. But we have so many points now. Holy shit. Also, can we just say Revelations camos are some of the best of all time? The Packet Punch camos, anyway. Well, here we go. Juggernaut. I like how the power's already turned on here as well. I appreciate that. All right, kill you two. We're going to get the Shiva. It's a good way to, like, cycle through all the guns, I suppose. Oh, the XM53. You. Now we've got the Argus. Anyone else agree the Argus is just a futuristic model 1887? I like how the camos are changing too. Like, it seems to be rotating between all the camos. Like, we're just getting pink ones. Oh, a public and servant. Okay. The, uh, oh, the Rift E9's cool. The Dracon. The Thunder Gun. Hey, oh, it's gone. Oh, can I? Hey, let's go. What is going on, bro? When a player take gets a headshot, players take one damage. Okay, dude. As if it wasn't fucking annoying enough already. Let's head towards, uh, what's it called? Verruckt, I suppose. Go and do this part next. Hello? The next shield part. I don't know why I'm bothering collecting them. Just, at least I remember the place, I suppose. Alright, next one. Kill you. The Dracon. Oh boy. Back on the Tommy gun. Oh yeah, my orientation is definitely changing sometimes. XM53 is good, though. The Apothecary Servant, shoot it! Yes. If I can at least get one shot off, then it does save me a bit. I can't shoot, bro. It's just swapping so much. The Thunder Gun! Hey! It is nice going through and actually using the Wonder Weapons, I suppose, at least. Well, last one we need is Derizon Drak. I mean, let's go through this way, I suppose. When a player takes damage, the Mystery Box moves. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, and I take damage, like, if I get a headshot, like, one damage. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, I just got my Ragnaroks out by accident. Oops. Um, okay. Well, let's, let's we can keep the uh, the thunder gun. God, it's so blue and bright. Jesus Christ! Ah, the haymaker. Oh, back to the Argus. Back to the Weevil. God, it just it swaps so much. All right, is this the round? Yeah, it is. Finishing with the Brecci. Okay. Well, we want to go this way. I think just Panzer spawn around ten on this game. I forget. Could be twelve. We kind of just have to hope we get a good RNG weapon. When a player swaps weapons, take one damage. Okay, just just no matter what, I'm just going to be taking like a little bit of damage all the time. Dingo! I can spray it a little bit before having to swap it out. God, just hearing the fucking Samantha laugh constantly or the teddy bear laugh. Oh, we've got a double point. Well, it'd be nice if I could use it. Retchy. Literally just going through every single gun in the game. It's brilliant. Oh, we've got a nuke. Oh, fucking let me grab it. The orientation thing, it's not even when you're aiming. It slightly just like knocks you off even without aiming. I've noticed it a couple times now. Well, at least we've got Pack-A-Punch unlocked, even though it's totally useless because we're just getting Pack-A-Punch for free anyway, which I'm not necessarily complaining. Oh, we just missed it. God damn it, it's right there, you bastard. I guess the only thing we want to really care about now is perks. Let's go back to Mob, go get Double Tap from Origins. And I guess, do we even need Speed Coder? I feel like it's totally useless because we're never going to be able to reload our weapon. I feel like the logical choice, oh, there was one zombie left, nice. Logical choice is get the Wonder Fizz wherever it is. When a grenade is thrown, random player drops a grenade. What? Do I just duplicate my grenades? Oh, the Marg was spawning. On round 11, interesting. It's different. At least the head, they don't count, like, for swapping the weapons, I suppose. It's cool that the Marg was, like, teleport, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's randomly slamming, okay. Come on, Marg, what, like, let me just, let me just pop this head real quick. No, it swapped my weapon! Oh, shit. That was actually so close to just death. Oh, no. Uh, no, I tried to get my fucking Ragnaroks out, bro. Well, this is gonna be risky then, isn't it? I don't even have my Ragnaroks anymore. That's brilliant. Let's throw a little army. Oh, fuck. All right, that uh, works. Shoot this down. Can I Can I please destroy the head? Ah, uh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, and now I have a Thunder Gun. Wait, it's giving me the Samantha glitch. No. Is it because I pulled the Ragnaroks out before? Now I have nothing. I have a pistol. Well, I mean, at least it's giving me the papped guns, I suppose. But now I just have no points. So that's brilliant. Can it stop swapping the weapons? Jesus. Well, fuck, dude. <laughs> when a door is purchased, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. I mean, we have most doors open anyway. This game just loves to troll me, bro. Like, in any way possible. Now I need quick revive back. At least we've had none that are, like, screwing up our perks, I suppose. That's, like, something. I'm taking one damage constantly. Just give me quick revive, bro. I need stamina, but that's what I was gonna get. Because there's no point in getting speed cola, but stamina would be good. Oh, we're gonna nuke. Let's go. Oh my god, it'd be nice if my fucking 
weapon would actually do something. I'm permanently red screen because I'm taking one damage all the time. Okay, we're good. Jesus. Let's use the death machine because we can actually use it. All right, that's the round. Still need like a ridiculous amount of points to be able to get jug and stuff, but whatever. Well, we have a secondary weapon as a thunder gun. I feel like we keep it just in case we need to like use something different. If we're in a sticky situation, you know, we swap it out. Oh God, so many zombies. Ah, oh, don't get me stuck. I'm gonna just use the Ragnaroks. Smash! See, at least this is reliable. Unironically, getting that from the box, like, probably the best hit we could have got. Because it doesn't count for me swapping weapons and stuff. As long as it doesn't fucking Samantha glitch me again. Please, I beg. Oh, God. Oh, well, there goes the Thunder Gun. Oh, the Ray Gun. Cool, dude. Oh, my God, it is. It's giving me the fucking Samantha glitch again. Are you serious? Okay, so we can't use the Ragnaroks then, I guess. When a player swaps weapons, five zombies spawn. Oh, my God. This round is never going to end. Because it's constantly, like, swap- It's constantly going on. No, dude! No! And now I'm stuck in the corner. The thunder gun! That worked. Okay. How am I alive? Oh, there goes all my guns again. And again. What the fuck is happening, bro? I'm perma-Samantha glitched. Oh, just thunder gun it. Fucking hell. What is going on? Oh, and now it's Samantha glitched again. Oh, fuck! I somehow got through there. Who knows how? I have nothing! A fire sale. Oh, that would be brilliant if I could actually use my guns. And yeah, because we're constantly swapping weapons... Yeah, we're just dead. Because we were constantly swapping weapons, it kept spawning five zombies. That's hilarious. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, some of these are ridiculously crazy. Uh, check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.